What's up, everyone? So today we're in lovely London. What is up everybody? Today we're gonna look at a unique house museum I discovered in London. Now, I didn't know about this place until I saw it on TripAdvisor, but it had pretty good ratings, so I figured I'd give it a shot. And I have to say, I was very surprised. The house is mostly Victorian style, but one of the rooms I was not expecting to see in the middle of London. So let's go. Oh, by the way, photography was not allowed, but don't worry, we've got a virtual online tour. Frederick Layton was a Victorian painter specializing in scantily clad women, often in exotic locations. All right, so as you can see, we are inside his studio. And I'm using the virtual tour that's available online. I'll post a link in the description below. And as you can see, we can see his artwork and some of the equipment that he used. And this is actually where the models would stand. So they would pose here on this little platform and Leighton would adjust the lighting here with these windows, the curtains on the windows. Pretty neat, we've got oh, nice carpet, really nice carpet. All right, so as you can see, we have some paintings hanging on the walls by chains. And over here, we have this window box complete with some artwork and some pillows. We'll get back to that later on. And as we pan around the room, you'll notice that the walls are actually covered with some green silk. It really gives a nice cozy feeling to the room. And if you look up, you can see that there are these skylights that illuminate the room. So here we are in the stairwell where we can see more works of art. And over here is what I'm assuming is a replica of a very famous work of art. Okay, so here we are in the main lobby. And it has a really nice relaxing feel to it. And this may be due to the friendly peacock that's greeting us at the very entrance. Hello. The wooden box, some of the artwork, and over here on the right hand side you can see the iridescent cobalt blue tiles right by the staircase. Okay, so here we are inside the Narcissus room, named after the statuette here in the front. And over on the walls you can see more of that blue tile work. It gives the room almost an aquatic feel. And now, the room we've all been waiting for. <clears throat> Excuse me. Welcome to the Arab Room. It feels like we've just been teleported to a different world. This two-story addition was built to showcase artifacts from Leighton's travels to the Middle East. The room is inspired by the Palace of La Cisa in Palermo, Sicily. And you can definitely see the resemblance in the wall niche and the fountain. Okay, as we pan up, we can see these squinches that are concave or convex. You can't really tell because it's kind of like an optical illusion. And we proceed upwards, we can see a dome. And over here, we can see some calligraphy work, very characteristic of the Arabic architecture. And over here, we see the other side of that window box. And down here, we can see a fountain surrounded by some Persian rugs. The Leighton House is a good visit if you want to take a break from the crowded museums in South Kensington. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys. So if you're in London and you want a taste of the Arabic architecture, this is the place to go. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you've ever been to London or if you're planning to go. Also, if you're interested in learning more about Arabic architecture, check out my video on the Alhambra. All right, guys, I will talk to you guys later.